Okay, hello guys. Playing a little naval action here. It's mid-October. <clears throat> well into games alpha. They've tweaked it quite a bit. Um, I'm playing uh, PvP server USA. And I'm in a frigate. And I'm going to head out and maybe do a commandant mission, master commandant mission. Or I'm going to hit a ship just to show you a little bit of combat. Looks like we might be having a game crash here, so I'm going to have to retry this. I'll let it load for a bit and see if it loads, but looks like we're having a game crash. Oh, it looks like it's coming through. There we go. It just took a little extra time. Zoom out here and you can see my frigate. Well, I'll zoom in and you can see it. It's a 19 gun on each side, 6 24s, and 13 32s. So it's quite equipped for taking down ships. Now I'm at Charlestown, uh, the USA newbie town, and I'm just headed out of the bay here. I don't know if I'm going to head north or south. Probably I'll head north to avoid pirates. I don't want to get caught up in a pirate battle and get my ship destroyed if I get ganked by like three or four pirates. So I'm all alone, so that would not be good. Looks like I got a few friends on today. One at least. And a clan mate. Who was on earlier but not talking so I'm not gonna worry about it. Alright. Looks like we got something north here I could hit. Possibly. It's quite a ways out there. Let's see if I can click it. Oh, went a little too far with my sails. We can go out to sea a little more. Turn this camera angle. And it's a USA brig, Mercury Navy brig, and another brig. So I'm not going to hit that anytime soon. Well, let's see where my mission is. Okay, we're headed the right direction for my mission. My mission seems to be just out of Georgetown. Just a little east, southeast of Georgetown. So... We'll head out for that, so I need to be heading about the heading that I'm heading, so I will just keep heading that direction and we'll maybe do that mission, and then you can see the what happens from there. It might take me a couple of minutes to sail there, but... <clears throat> I'm going to turn up the sound a little bit. It'll probably be pretty loud once I get in the battle, but at least you can hear the wave sound for this. It's a pretty clear day today. No rain or thunderstorms, so you can see quite a far ways away. See land over there in the town. Right over there. Okay. Let's see where are my coordinates 77 30 34 16. So I'm getting close. I might want to. Oh, I could keep my heading, I think. Ooh, someone just popped up over there. First Lieutenant Harry D. Wolf sailing a trade links. I'm going to PM him. We'll see what's up with him. Looks like he's just trading between CT and Georgetown. If 
probably making a little bit of money. I always like to engage new players, get them into the game a little more than they already are. Maybe give them a guild to get into or whatever. Well, Harry didn't want to talk to me, so we're going to close that chat and just forget about it. I have an email. Okay. Just telling me I put a ship on sale. Alright, there is my mission, I believe. No, that's an epic event. That's not my mission. I don't want to join that. I need six plus probably first rates to do that. And I'm in a, I want to say a fifth rate. Doing a little fishing. Oh, I still have stuff from my last adventure. I caught, captured a La Grosse Ventra, Ventra or whatever they call them. It's French. <coughs> And I got some rum, copper ore, and fine wine, so I'll be uh, stocking that into my uh, warehouse when I get back to port. Alright, let's check our heading here. Well, we're right about where we need to be in terms of latitude. Longitude, we're pretty close to, so we're headed in the right direction, so we should see that event pop up any time here so I'm gonna keep scanning the horizon for it Now I just have this on medium graphics. The graphics are quite better on high. I just uh, lowered it so I'd get a little more FPS. Which they're still pretty good on medium if you ask me. Gotta be getting close. Check that map again. Okay. Well, we're still a little ways out on latitude, so longitude just a tidbit more, and we'll be close. So we're we're headed on the right direction, so we should be there. Like I said earlier, we should be there soon. As you get the uh, higher mission levels they're usually farther out to sea so it takes a little more time to get to them when you start you're a midshipman at least for the United States it's different for each one whatever country you pick but uh, I'll be a midshipman when you start and then I'll progress all the way up to Rear Admiral as a USA player so but right now I'm a master commodore. I'm sailing fifth rate ships. I could probably sail some fourth rates, but they'd be a little under crewed. And I believe I have about 8,000 XP to next level. No, 7,800. Or 6,800, sorry. Pardon me. So I have a little bit to level up on.
I'm just fishing away here. Oh, what did I get here? Smooth Hammerhead Shark. That's a good catch. That's worth 10k. So. Oh, I don't care about the Google Alert. Get off. I'm going to convert all the small fish and I'm going to save that hammerhead. That hammerhead, I'll sell that port for 10 grand. Now we should be approaching, let's see here. Yeah, we're right about close to there. So I'm going to start scanning again. It should be around here somewhere. And I think I just spotted it. Yes. No, that's an epic event. Another epic event. Jeez. Why can't I spot my mission? That's all I want to do. Well, add no order. It should be around here somewhere. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> Actually, I think I'm a little too far to the east, but I'm right about where I want to be north, so I'm going to turn around and head in a different direction here, because it should be somewhat close. I may have passed it when I wasn't looking. There's Charlestown, I can see in the distance right there, I don't know if you can see it, but it should be close to here, which I think I see it, yes I do, it's right there, I did pass it, now I'm going to backtrack a little bit and get to it, you have to use your latitude longitude and zoom in on the map and kind of guess the coordinates of the mission and sail to them. You have a coordinate of where you are, which is shown right here. But uh, this big uh, double sword crossed is where the mission is. And that's where I'm heading. So... It's starting to get dark. I don't know how well the quality of the visual will be when it gets dark, but hopefully it's not too bad. Oh, someone got lucky. They got a first-rate blueprint. You can see those double swords there sitting in the sea there, right up at the top of my mast. That is where the mission is, and it's getting close, so I should be able to enter it pretty soon. And there we go, it just popped up, so I'm going to enter it. And now we're going to battle mode, or screen, whatever you want to call it. There'll be a short timer that will... Uh, countdown until the battle starts once I'm loaded in and then I can uh, go at it alright what am I fighting Rodney this ought to be interesting he's going to get the pounding of his life <coughs> I'm going to cut 
to a 135 degree angle because at the zero, or no, the 300 is where the wind is blowing from the 90 degree angle. So I'll cut downwind or upwind, I mean, at an angle, and then I'll blast it, and then I'll turn around and try to get them with the other side if I can. Probably won't turn the way I want them to, but at least I'll have an upwind or a downwind uh, blow for me to chase it. Okay, I'm going to use my front cannons in my uh, bow, and I'm going to shoot that in here. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's quite a wind out there, and it's quite dark. So I'm going to wait until it gets a little closer, and then I'm going to let these off. Uh, Hopefully I'll get a couple hole hits. Maybe if I'm lucky I'll leak. Because these are some decent sized 24 pounders. And if I get a leak that would be nice. I'm going to lower that a little bit. He's turning. And we're going to fight. There we go. I got some sail damage. I was aiming too high. We're going to go in. Be power. fire soon enough so I only got eight hits and I got eight hole hits and a crew hit but I did damage him a little bit. Let's see if I can see how much I damaged him. Yeah I hit his uh stern a little bit in his side, his uh, starboard side. He barely touched me. Alright I'm gonna down my sailing by hitting six. And that'll up my guttering, which will increase my reload time. And he's a little ways out there, and I'm at 250 meters. So, I have carronades, and I'm going to test out the rockets and space bar, see how close I am. I was in a big battle the other day with some uh, third rates and I took out 10 cannons within 3 broadsides on one ship and it just totally destroyed his offense and he went down like a rock. That's what I love about this frigate. It can put a pounder on it. Alright, one ball reloaded. I'm a little closer here. I'm depowered, so I'll have a good level shot. There we go. Two hits and two crew hits and eight hole hits and that. And that's at 250 meters with the carols, which is pretty decent. And actually, it's a little higher than 250. Now we're going to manually uh, use the sails to get um, what I want done here. Uh, I'm going to take the two back sails and I'm going to turn them so it's the wind forces the tail of the ship to turn. And leave the front mast an angle with it's flush with the wind so it doesn't work against the wind and that'll turn my nose the way I want it to go. And I'm at a negative right now so I want to um, press the opposite direction I want to turn with the rudder so I will turn at a higher pace towards the right until I'm at positive wind. Then I'll want to turn to the right rudder. I'm lining up for the shot here it looks like. I've got a good turn rate so I'm going to be able to hit him soon. I'm still firing but they're bouncing off me. They're not doing much. They're bouncing off my hull. Just about lined up with a shot. And still doing the turn. And we're going to turn my uh, 
mast at the top, my top sail or front sail. And we're going to turn that so I can get some wind. Now he's turning into me. And I think he's going to give me his other side here in a minute. And he is. And he's a lot closer. So we're going to test and see how close he is. I had a sail hit. So we're going to drop that down and play. Oh yeah, we just put a week down. Two weeks, three weeks. Now he might go down a little bit quick here because I just got three weeks on him. And he's still got quite a bit of crew, so he might be okay, but uh, I'm going to undepower to give him a little more uh, windage here. I should have done that before I made my turn, but that's okay. With the th three leaks on him, he should sink relatively quickly. And if I can get some more leaks on him, it'll be even better. Um, I always like getting leaks early on because it causes some of the crew to work on the leaks and that decreases their reload and it decreases their sailing and their repair if they are in repair mode. So I'm fully loaded here for another broadside. So I'm going to depower here and I'm going to prepare. And we're going to start right there. Another leak. talking about so that is four leaks within a minute so that's gonna really put him at a uh, disadvantage he may sink he may not four leaks is pretty helpful but he's a big ship so he can take down a lot but we'll see uh, how fast he uh, gets those leaks taken care of or does not and I'm predictable he looks like he's sinking pretty fast here He's getting lower in the water level, so he may sink, especially if I get some more leaks on him with this next broadside coming up, which I'm almost reloaded for. And now I have 19 cannons to go. With 18 hits for the hole, and one two. And he is still bouncing cannons off my hole. Now he's in, he's in a fifth rate ship, it's just not, maybe that's a fourth rate, I think that's a fourth rate, that might, or not a fourth rate, a sixth rate, I was going backwards with the rates, I think that's a sixth rate, so he's not actually as powerful as this, so this is an expected win for me, and now he's turning again, I think I'm going to turn him with him, and try to close the gap and get some more hole hits on him, but with more penetration at a closer range and maybe get some more leaks on him. Uh, I've been getting some long distance leaks on him though, so that's good. We're going to try these 24 pounders in the front. Let's see if I can get a hit on from this distance. I'm going to see if I can't gauge this pretty good to get a hit on him. Pretty soon here, once I get turned in a little. I want a little more turn on him. Alright, we're going to switch these sails to get better windage. And I only have nine crew working the sails, so it really goes slow with the, the sails, but my gunnery is way up there on the rainbow grade, which is what I like. Now, if I really was in a battle with more ships, I would probably have just a little more crew on the sails, just uh, to make sure. Yeah, I was shooting too high, I got some sail hits, but that's okay. Now, he's bringing his side on me. Okay, he is overturning and showing me his port side. So, I'm going to go, we're going to go port to port here, and we're going to see what I do. <laughs> in terms of damage, hopefully some more uh, leaks because I want to sink him, I want to sink points. Sixteen hole hits, no leaks, but I did get some damage on him. He damaged my rudder, so I'm going to repair that, that way I can turn. I'm going to undepower power to give me some more windage. Turn. 
keep it in sight here. Just to get the right zoom in. I like to be in the middle of the because I can look around my ship and see everything that's going on. Now we're getting some turn rate going here and some wind speed, some knots. Now the miles. Okay, we're fully reloaded on cannons. We're going to be about, I'd say, 175 to 200 meters out. And I have my guns ranged for 200 meters, so this shot should be relatively easy. Let me see how close I am. That's a sail hit. So I'm going to lower the shot. And <coughs> Oh, another leap. 10 hole hits and another leak, so he should, unless he's repaired all those other 4 leaks, which I doubt he's repaired all of them, unless he put a lot of crew on the repair, um, which he does have a lot of crew, I don't think he'll be uh, afloat too much longer. So, I'm about reloaded with my 24 pounder. My 32 pounder, so we're gonna give this a shot here in a minute. We're gonna see if we can't take him out. Another leak, beautiful hit, and a module hit. So I either hit his pump or his rudder because he's not on fire, so I did not hit his magazine, so I could probably hit his pump or his rudder, which I hope it's his pump because that'll decrease the rate at which he can. Uh, get his ship to not sink. And he's looking at like he's getting some distance between me, so I might have to up how far I'm shooting here. <coughs> he's a little ways out there. We're gonna do a test shot. A little short. Here. We're going to change the sails here. I have four crew on sails, so I am going to turn some of the sails back on so I can get a little more sail speed here. My ship should turn right now. I lost an opportunity to fire at him, so. We're going to have to wait. <coughs> I'm at full sails, going about <coughs> 2.6 knots, <coughs> turning into the wind, so oh, I put my sails backwards, so it's turning in the opposite direction, so that's why I'm slowing down so much, so I'll probably be going to the He's fired on me twice. I'm still not hurt that much. So he's uh, <coughs> part of my coughing. He's getting a little ways away from me, but now he's closing in on me. So I might be power here and go a little bit slower. I'm gonna depower. That way the line-up shot is perfect, and he closed the gap on me. He's giving me his starboard side, which is not as damp. <coughs> Alright, I'm going to undepower power and sail ahead of him because he slowed down. And I'm going to fire now. Sail crew and a hull. So we're going to load a little bit in front. <coughs> Sail, hull, crew again. 
<coughs> and the rest of the mess. But that's okay. We'll reload relatively fast. Now I'm going to get rid of my sailing crew and put it back in the gunnery so uh, it will reload quicker. And I can get a broadside back on his weak side, which is his uh, port. We're going port to port again. <coughs> Pardon me. Sixteen, seventeen hull hits, a crew hit, and a cannon hit. And he is almost out of armor on that side, so he will be sinking soon, even if he doesn't have any meat still going. <coughs> so, and my reload rate is going up quite fast here. I'll have six more 24 pounders to hit him with pretty quick here. And we're going to hit him with him as soon as we can. Another cannon hit, four more hole hits, and a crew hit. And then my 1332 pounder. Another cannon hit, four crew, and seven hole hits. He's going to be sinking soon for sure. He is going to be sinking for sure. And when you sink a ship, and you've done a lot of cannon damage, you do actually gain XP for a lot of damage. And right now I have 6 leaks, 130 hull hits, 1 module, 4 cannon, and then 12 sail hits, so that's going to be a good amount of XP. <clears throat> and I'm hopefully going to get one more good broadside in here, and which I'm about to test, I'm going to see how close I am. There, so I load it and I fire. Another week, another three, and seven more holes. So he's gonna be going down. Putting so many leaks in him when he has less armor is going to uh, really uh, lower his chances of surviving for sure. Okay, we need some uh, crew on the sails, so I'm going to put some gunners off and put them on the sails. <coughs> Change my sails for a little more wind so I can turn. And now we're going at four knots, almost five knots. Got a good turn there, and he is sinking. And I am reloaded, so we're going to test how close we are with this gun. Pretty darn close, we're gonna raise a little bit and fire. Five, uh, six hole hits, two cannon, and two crew. He is taking a beating, I'm surprised he's still afloat. He has no armor on that side. And I had two hole hits, and it looks like he's almost sunk. As you can see, he's, his guns are almost out of water. So, he's going to be sinking. I might get one more broadside on him. But he's going to be sinking pretty quick here. He's sunk. Alright, and that's the battle. I'm going to leave. Let's see what we got here. Alright, I got 11,610 gold, 217 XP for my tune, and 109 for my officer. That's not too bad. I only lost 3 crew, and actually 13 crew. Now we're going to head back to port. And that's pretty much it. That's a battle.